Hey everyone, this is Liz Show, Director of Clinical Nutrition and Registered Dietitian at Jackson Purchase Medical Center. Today I'm doing another Learning with Liz lesson with you. I thought today I was trying to think of something different that we could talk about and I thought, how about, let's talk about snacking. We all probably snack. Some people snack every day, some people snack just ever so often, but sometimes those snacks cannot be might not be the healthiest thing that we would need to choose um, with our food. So I just thought I'd kind of give you just some helpful ideas um, and maybe even some calorie free ideas also. Um, if, you, if you know that maybe I just might not eat, need to eat anything. So hopefully I can give you some helpful tips with that. So of course the first thing that a, a lot of us snack on is some type of chips. We, we want something that's salty and crunchy um, that, that just kind of helps to make us feel good actually, but you know like a bag of chips This is this is like a little individual bag and there's 230 calories in that so that might not be the best Choice for us to go with but there are other things out there that you can go for that's more of the the salty crunchy type of thing So here's a bag of baked chips. These are both um, barbecue chips the baked chips have 140 calories in them and the regular chips has 230. So you're still getting, you know, your barbecue flavors, you know, wanting something that's gonna be salty and crunchy, but you're almost cutting your calories in half. So trying to go with something that's more of a baked type of chip would be much better for you to try to do. Or even like some pretzels. Um, this bag of pretzels only has 110 calories in it. So again, it's, it's an item that's baked. So it's going to have a lot less calories in it than something that's going to be fried. Also, I would suggest is either buying the little individual bags or if you have a big bag, take out your portion, put it in a bowl, put their bag or box up, and then that way you just eat what's in the bowl. Because oftentimes if we eat out of a big bag or a big box, we sit down and eat almost the whole thing. So that's not the best thing for us to do. Popcorn. A lot of people love to snack on popcorn, but what do we like to put on that popcorn? Could be a lot of butter and salt. So if you're popping it yourself, go light with the salt on there. Maybe try not to put any, say, melted butter or margarine on that to help cut out some fat. You can even try, like, I can't believe it's not butter spray on it, and that can give you that butter flavored. Um, you got to be careful with it because if you get too much on it, it gets too wet and then that makes your popcorn soggy. Or if you do microwave popcorn, try to get the light butter flavor and then that way it has less calories in it, but you still kind of get that buttery taste that we want to have from that. Also some other good choices are things like um, you know, your fresh fruits, um, banana, an apple, an orange, a peach strawberries, watermelon, cantaloupe, those types of things would be excellent to do. Or even keeping a bag of like raw vegetables in your refrigerator if you need something just to snack on. You can pick up a, you know some carrot sticks or some celery sticks. Again, it's salty, not, not necessarily salty, but crunchy, and that satisfies our need to, to have something like that. If we want something that's kind of cold, and sweet instead of going for the ice cream, maybe going to pour some yogurt. Um, this is a Yoplait Light that only has 80 calories um, in a serving, and this one is a light Dan and light and fit, and there's only 50 calories in that. So that would be better than going for that big bowl of ice cream. Even though we love ice cream, going something like this would be better. Or maybe even getting frozen yogurt, and so that way you have more of the ice cream feel, but it's going to be lower in calories for you. And then there's some things that we can do that are calorie free um, type of tips to help us kind of get through that snack um, phase that we might need, want to feel like our body needs for that day. So this is what I tell a lot of my weight loss patients to do, is go drink a, a glass of water first. See if that helps to fill you up rather than going and getting something to eat. Go brush your teeth. That's a kind of a crazy one, but who then who wants to mess up clean teeth? A lot of time, as I said, we may not be hungry, we may just be bored. So getting up and going, do something helps you to occupy that time. Even drinking a glass of or, or like a cup of hot tea 
helps to kind of sometimes that warm feeling makes us feel a little bit better and do in, in drinking that um, or do a crossword puzzle or do read a book or anything like that any little odd um, hobbies that you might happen to have but just keeping your mind occupied rather than going and getting something to eat we're all going to snack we just need to make better choices when we do that snacking so i hope this helps you out um, again, as I say every time, if you have any topics that you would like for us to cover, please, you know, send us a message and we'll be glad to. So I hope everybody has a great day and get outside and walk some in this beautiful weather we're having right now. Thanks.